Alright guys, today I'm going to be reviewing Copperhead Strike at Carowinds. This is the mock multi-launch coaster there, and it is one of the most underrated coasters I've ever been on, and in this review I'm going to explain why. So to start off, let's talk about the theming, because this is easily the best themed Cedar Fair coaster I've ever seen. Um, first of all, like the queue is incredible. Um, there's, like, the houses, there's so many, like, props, like, trucks and whatnot. It's really cool. There's a ton to look at. And also, I'll get into the other part of theming later. But the trains on this are really comfortable. Probably my third favorite trains. I like the B&M clamshells and buzz bars better, but these are really comfortable trains. So, now let's get into the ride experience. So... You're going to pull right out of the station into the third best part of the ride right away. And this is the JoJo roll. This this roll is so good. Probably definitely somewhere in my top five favorite inversions. It's insane. You're just like hanging upside down for a really long time while kind of getting laterals almost. Like you can kind of feel like your upper body moving because like it's a lap bar so your upper body is exposed so yeah the jojo rolls crazy plus you hear like some weird music in the background so overall the jojo rolls just such a good way to get a ride started probably my favorite just beginning to a ride like ever like before the launch or lift hill or whatever now you're gonna roll into the barn thing and this is really cool this is definitely better than the shed they've got like granny like yelling out like the boys like that like something's going wrong or something with like the moonshine business and like they gotta get out of there no oh, apparently there's some weird tie to like maverick and steel vengeance with this theming so i don't know i don't really care too much about that but it's really cool. And then you're going to launch, and I have to admit, yeah, this launch is pretty forceless. Um, Kind of, there's a little bit of force to it. It's not completely forceless, but it does kind of feel like straight track in a sense. But then you're going to go into a really hang time filled vertical loop. And this is another really good moment of hang time on this ride. Then you're going to come out of that and go into a really powerful ejector pop. Um, almost feels like, kind of like the first Camelback on Jersey Devil, I would say, kinda. Um, if this Camelback is that strong, I'm absolutely terrified for what the, like, two Camelbacks on Helix feel like, cause those look like way bigger, way more sustained versions of these, so, yeah, that's gonna be crazy, but, then after that, you're gonna go into a Corkscrew, and it's pretty whippy. Um, not quite like B&M invert level, but like still pretty whippy. And then you'll go through some turns that really don't do too much. And then before the second launch, you'll do another ejector pop. That's really good. And then you'll go through the second launch and again, not too much force, but you do feel a little bit of floater, I guess. And then you're going to go into the like top hat cut back thing. Like, it's a cutback, but it acts more like an inverted top hat. And this is probably the second best moment of hang time on the ride. Um, It's just you're flying, like, out of your seat because of the hang time. And it's really sustained, too. Not quite as sustained as the JoJo roll, but still really good. Then you're going to do a nice fast turn into the vertical loop. And this one doesn't really do that much. Kind of just feels like a normal vertical loop. But then after that, you're going to go through the best part of the ride, and that is this, like, weird hill, like, that almost, like, goes up as a normal hill and then, like, banks sideways. Like, it feels like a straight-up RMC hill. Like, it feels like a really good, sustained, sideways moment of ejector airtime. And especially if you're riding front row load side, that's my favorite seat on the ride, but especially if you're riding in that seat, it's absolutely wild. You just get crazy laterals, crazy ejector airtime. It's amazing. One of my favorite moments 
on any coaster, really, I guess. And then you're going to go into a Maverick-like Snap. This is the second best part of the ride. I don't think it's quite as strong as Maverick's Snaps, but it's still really good, especially with those lap bars. You just, Your upper body just gets flung around. And then you're going to go through some turns that are, like, solidly forceful but won't blow you away. And then you're going to go into another, like, floater pop. And then you're going to turn into one last ejector pop which isn't the most sustained, like, kill in the world, but it's really powerful. Like, I'd say, like, it's on par with the hill after the first vertical loop because, like, it's slightly more powerful but slightly less sustained, so it's still really good. Like, again, feels like another, like, hill on, like, Wicked Cyclone or something. And then you're going to go into the breaks after that. Um. So, overall... Copperhead Strikes, one of the most well-rounded coasters ever. Um, I'd almost compare it to like a, a weaker version of Maverick, but still, it's in my top 15, maybe even top 10. Saying it's a weaker version of Va Maverick, like most coasters are weaker than Maverick, like it's my number two overall. But Copperhead Strikes, still incredible. Again, top 15, maybe top 10 for me. One of the most underrated coasters I've ever been on. Probably top three most underrated. Um, It's final score. I'm giving it like a 9.5 out of 10. Um, For like scores, like this is compared to like rides I've been on. Like not what I think in the world. In the world, it would probably be like 9 out of 10. But for rides I've been on, it's 9.5. Because again, top 15, maybe top 10. It's an incredible ride. So well rounded, it does everything right. Um, the theming's incredible. So yeah, that's my review on Copperhead Strike. Um, let me know if you guys like it as much as me. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.